Coming out to the first Lafayette Funstival. Uh, we got a Lafayette Funstival, thank you for our bad joke. Um, so we have a ton of local comedy and some groups from out of town. So this should be awesome. We're hoping it should be, and you guys are the first test audience. So give yourselves a round of applause for coming. All right, to start us off for the night, we have a once famous podcast coming out, new, improved. Um, we have Sheldon McGill and Will Hughes, who actually can't be here. They have some other people to fill in for them. Um, but the expert cast. So uh, welcome to McGill and Hughes present the expert cast. I'm Dan Snowman filling in for Will Jim Hughes. And uh, I'm uh, Bill Evans, and I'm filling in for um, Shaw Shavon McGill, uh, who's being still being chased by the government, I guess. So he couldn't make it. That's weird. Yeah, to, I, I mean, I just we don't know who these people are. I uh, you know I wake up this morning. And uh, I say this morning it was it was three in the three in the afternoon because I was out. I was uh, You're some you know kind of jerk. No, I, I mean I'm. A I'm hunting player. pigeons in my backyard, and one of them's got a message tied to its leg. Says, "Come to this stupid thing and talk to you, jerks." Mine was a little more friendly. I but paraphrased. It was, a, it was the same. Uh, it's the same basic idea. So so we're here to talk to you. We are both experts. I presume I am an expert. In uh, the, the field of, of festivals. So. I, I have been running festivals in this country for 23 years, and I won't take any lip from any of you. I'll I have give gone. you my expertise. I myself, I, I mean, you might recognize me. I am famed millionaire playboy Bill Evans. <laughs> what is. No. Uh, no, don't humor the chair. Uh, you guys. I've gone to over 750 different festivals in my life. And yeah, but have you run any? I have run 62 different festivals across this great nation, including Field Fest, Corn Fest, Lava Fest, Fest Fest, and Fence Fest. You know, I, uh, when you're a millionaire philanthropist, like me. Wait, are you a playboy or a philanthropist? I'm a millionaire playboy philanthropist. You know, do you know what philanthropist, can you, philanthrop philanthropist. Right. Oh, you think I'm saying philanthropist. No, I'm saying philanthropist. What did, you made that word up. No, no, it's because by night I go to festivals and by day. Wait, are you a philanthropist? Philanthropist, right. It's, it's a philanthropist. That is, that is the festival I saw. These aren't our real mustaches. They made us put these on. <laughs> the point is. I have a thick, beautiful mustache that I've been forced to cover with this cheap synthetic crap. The point is I'm a millionaire. And also a playboy. And also, I happen to be the co-chair of the Philanthropist. And we've been asked to answer your questions about how to open a festival. Since we are here, in fact, to open this festival, um, which apparently is a festival, even though uh, it seems like they're using the term a little bit loosely. Irony. <laughs> Did you know that there is actually a, a worldwide governing body that determines all of the definitions required to uh, actually have a festival? So in order to use the word festival, you have to pass a strict series of requirements. Uh, you seem to have... Those requirements are horse feathers. I have had so many of my festivals shut down by the jackbooted thugs of this governing body. We're, we're but I'm sick of having them. No, I'm not even going to dignify you with a mustache pull-off. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions about how to open this stupid thing? I'm sure that you're all wondering how we're going to open this festival. Um, so we can just yeah. yeah what? Do you use an automatic festival opener <clears throat> or one of those you have to crank with your hand? 
What is that, a joke? <laughs> you think it's easy to organize a festival? You think you just push a button? Yes. You're a scum. Yeah, see, they tried to introduce an automatic festival opener in 2006. That freaking robot ruined my life! <laughs> yeah. It stole the woman I loved! <laughs> it killed both of my parents. So, Wait a second, you're a millionaire philanthropist orphan. That's right. I feel like I've heard that story before, somewhere. I know, I'm famous. Is that a grappling hook? No, stop looking at my utility belt. Now, are there any other questions about opening a festival? Or about being- Yeah, there? you! Um, what celebrities would you suggest to, you know, be the opening act at a festival, if you will? Well, a good festival usually starts by uh, introducing a millionaire playboy, for example. Um, you know, sort of a Bill Evans or a, a Bill Evans. Bruce <laughs> Wayne. Uh, who? I haven't, I'm not familiar. The Celebrity's not what brings people together in a festival. It's fences. You get people into a room, and then you erect the fences and they can't leave. Get the fence! There's no fence! Why am I even here? This is just one of the requirements that uh, I feel like these festival runners are really being loose on. This seems like the worst run festival I've ever seen in my life. It's not a very well run festival. There's no fences. <laughs> there was no buffet. There was no buffet. I was promised a lunch buffet. All I got was uh, a couple of very, very small cookies. Every single, every single festival I run, there is a teriyaki chicken in the back. Do you smell a teriyaki chicken here? No, because there isn't one. I don't smell a teriyaki chicken. No one here smells. Raise your hand if you smell a teriyaki chicken. Liars! <laughs> All right, well, actually, smelling teriyaki chicken is a uh, sign of a stroke. Right, it is right. one of the symptoms can we, of a stroke. Can we get the uh, festival medics over to the... There's no festival there's medics! There's no festival medics. There are no festival medics. This is where I can do craziness! Have we done anything that is required of having an actual festival? <laughs> do we have a, a staff count? Well, we are talking today? against the festival right now. Where are the guards? to pull us off stage. No guards? We can I, say what, I'm bigger than Jesus. I shouldn't be allowed to say that at a festival. I, I wear a cape at night and I beat up criminals. That's no Batman, you're Batman, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. I was being ridiculous. That is a ridiculous. That was the one moment out of this whole thing you were being ridiculous. Right, everything else makes perfect sense. Absolutely no. holds together. Do we have any more questions about festivals? Yeah, you in the back! Hi! What do you do if you have disruptive patrons at the start of your festivals? What is done with them? That's a good question. And without, See, without a uh, festival guard on staff, I'm not actually sure where, uh... Well... There's only really one way to start a festival, and that's firing a pistol into the air. And not one of your namby pamby improv pistols, a real gun like this one! No, I didn't. <laughs> I have a strict no guns policy. That's still Batman! <laughs> so, I mean, they say fire the pistol into the air. I don't think that's necessary. What if there's a rat living in the ceiling and if you shoot him, he won't become your friend and live in your clothes? <laughs> So I say fire indiscriminately to start the festival off. And if someone's being disruptive, well, they're wearing a target. <laughs> um, you know, I, that's, <clears throat> I suppose that works. Bang! Now there's a hole in the floor. You put a hole in the floor. We don't even have a fence to, to cordon this off with. Why isn't there a simple floor patch? The easiest thing in the world to install. This festival is cock a duty. You know what? Did I just say a word? I didn't. Wearing a mustache too. Oh my! You know what? Fine. It's stuck. This mustache glue. The festival organizers did a good job on the mustache glue. Thank well, you. Fifty percent of the mustache glue. All right. We're getting weird looks from the people in the back. Someone has called in the stormtroopers. Well, it's about time. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Are we in fact getting weird looks from the people in the back? Can I get a thumbs up? 
Thank you, weirdos, with your weird looks. So we're being ushered off the stage. We've been the fine. expert. <clears throat> That's fine. I mean, I happen to be a millionaire, but, you know, you can just usher me wherever you want. Even though, you know, I have <clears throat> one million dollars. So, you know. You're, wait, you're a million? I am literally a millionaire. I have one million dollars. It's not. I have a briefcase in my car with one million dollars in it. You're infuriating. We have been McGill and Hughes present the expert cast. There's supposed to be music. Where's the. Why you? Oh, not a problem. No, not I can't do this. I need Because the we have music in our hearts. I had this thing all timed out with the music, and then there's no music. And then. Alright, there we go. Okay, we music. okay. Okay, cut the music. Alright. No, cut the music. Okay. Thank you. It's good to see everybody here today. That's right. Yes. Yes. My name is My name is William McIntyre. I am author of Heckle Away Your Problems, and I'm here to teach you all how to heckle. That's right. Yeah. Oh, do I get Look, I want you, I want you to visualize yourself. I'm visualizing me stuffing your face full of cheese. Good! What? That's, that's I'm Daniel McClone! What's up? Hi. Hey, I'm hey, a heckler. Hello. Good, good! These guys got it! Yes! I was watching this festival earlier! Get dead! Yes. Now we've been sitting in the audience secretly this watching entire time, you. watching you watch the stage, and there's a problem, ladies and gentlemen. A big Effing problem. It's we're not gonna do the music, man. If that's what you're thinking. Yeah, there. It's this is not River City. We it doesn't rhyme with P. This is what. Uh, the, what the doesn't rhyme with P? I'm referencing the music, man. I don't know. I've never heard of that. What kind? What? Uh, have you not heckled a Broadway show? Do you not know? No, I heckle. Come, you people aren't heckling enough. You. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's four words. Do the music man. <laughs> the four words are do the music man. Do apparently. the that guy knows. music man. That is, oh, you're wait, right, you read my book. That's fantastic. Wait, is it do the music comma man or is he asking us to do? <laughs> no, when, okay, <laughs> if you already. if you don't know how to heckle, ladies and gentlemen, and these people, just these look people inside think yourselves. <laughs> Find your, your, Booklet that has the entire screenplay of the Music Man on it. It's right under your seats. <laughs> we, Jack ladies Brett. and gentlemen, we got you all a copy of the Music Man. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now. If you don't have one, take it up with Tim Franklin. Um, his home address is no, no. Sorry, that's 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 beside the point. The point is. <laughs> Right, okay, yes, let's go with that. Go, okay, okay. Got, can the person who said that stand up, please? Now. Yeah, stand yes, up. Okay. Let's discuss this. Now, you smell bad. That's vague! Okay, yeah. What do I smell vague. like? Do I smell you, like garbage? You you're very like far, you're, you're very far bad. away from us. So how exactly are you able to know how we smell right. and that we smell bad? Yeah, heckle makes no logical sense. It's a problem. So now, you said we looked ugly. He has pointed out a very good thing about heckling, which is Stay on logic, okay? Do not make things, do, don't say things that don't make sense. Right, because... like one time I was heckling at a guy and I got into the moment and I ended up yelling, mm -hmm. you know, World War II ended in 1942. <laughs> the facts don't bear out! <laughs> what, do you do, what do you do with that? I don't even know. I don't I, know why I yelled it. That's, yeah, so you have to, you have to think, now, what do we know about these people that can just really make them feel bad? What about my mustache, or my tie, or my body shape? It's those these are, are all, really, all valid things to heckle about. Those are all me. very bad you looking things. Sounds like nails on a chalkboard. That's nails right, it does. On a chalkboard. And you know what I like about that? A round of applause for this gentleman. That's yeah, yeah. Get right. that man a cheese hat. What I like about that is both it's specific and it uses imagery. Yes, yes. What? Similes are the the opiate of the heckler. Wait, what? <laughs> that the, thing you said made no sense. Mean. What? You don't know what those words mean. That's good. See, that was a test. 
and you passed the test. <laughs> Round of applause. Round of applause for that gentleman. Okay, come on, we need another heck. I like your mustache. Your voice sounds okay, like Okay, okay, okay. I like your mustache. That's, <laughs> now, see, that's a see, positive comment. Yeah, a, a heckle is not necessarily just something yelled out. Just yeah. like diarrhea spraying out of your mouth. See, what I like about that, the imagery. We've all now imagined <laughs> diarrhea spraying out. Thank like you, well or out. as similes, Man, not metaphors. Beard. What, what? Comb your beard. Comb your beard. I don't I'm know sorry, but I don't have a beard to right. comb, so that doesn't make any sense. You are freakishly tall. I am freakishly tall. You're a freak that that makes me feel terrible. That's great. Round of applause. Right? right? No. Everyone, take a close look. Look at the what? pain in this monster freak's eyes. <laughs> yeah, keep it coming. Yes. More Just, things. Your pants don't match. My pants don't match. Giraffe and hippopotamus. Giraffe and hippopotamus. That's right. Those are the animals of the zoo we will assemble. My shoe is untied. Don't trip, please. My shoe is untied. No, no concern. You can feel insecure about your differences in height. <laughs> we, you know what? I hadn't thought of that. Now I do feel insecure. Yeah, I have, this is actually getting mean. This is okay. No, no, no this is getting a little personal. Let's just slow it down. Maybe just, we could not do the thing when you yell hurtful things. Let's just turn this back without your what? That doesn't even make sense. Wait a second. Wait a second. Somebody just yelled we had pubes on our head. <laughs> just, just, just me. Just pube head over here. Oh, good old the pube-headed giraffe. That's right, because you, you the ugliest animal at the zoo. You've gone into my past and you figured out what they called me in high school. That's really great. That's the important aspect of heckling. Research. You stalk your heckling victim. Until you know every fact of their life, every hurt. For instance, remember that time when you were four years old and your dad looked at you and said, I wish we never had a child? That's you! Ha ha ha! As a matter of fact, I hadn't remembered that until just now. And that's how the healing begins. <laughs> We've been the extra cast coming. Oh, that's a microphone. Uh, coming up next. You're on a stage. What? You're on a stand on a stage. With the microphone. Oh, that's true. That's, that's accurate. Thank you. We're trying to wind down, but they heckled me again. Yeah. All right, well, now that we got you all warmed up, uh, there's some guy. Let's be very clear. Please do not heckle the other comics. That's, hopefully you're all heckled out now. Yep, we got all your heckles out. This was a great plan we had to start part of a comedy festival. Okay. <laughs> to, like, condition you to yell things at